This is Adele Inspiron 3646. Uh, many thanks to Mark, uh, one of the subscribers, um, for sorting this out for me. It's basically a desktop PC, but it uses a laptop power connector here. And also inside, it's got some kind of onboard CPU, laptop memory DDR3L. So it's kind of like a mix between a laptop in a desktop case. It's got a Wi-Fi card slot there, Wi-Fi antenna disconnected. I need to basically connect up the power and see if it works. I'm not sure if it works, but hopefully with some memory, we will get this working. I've got a multi adapter here for the power. I'm going to put in some DDR3 PC3L RAM into the RAM slot. As far as I'm aware, there's only one RAM slot. I doubt there's anything underneath the motherboard. It'd be quite unlikely. Um, so it is single channel RAM. I don't know what the processor is, but we'll find out. So let's connect up the power. Unplug the HP stream. That'll mean on the CMOS battery will, or the BIOS will be cleared on the HP, which is a shame, but doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna put the power in, see what we get. Um, we've got an orange light at the front. I'm going to press that. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we've got the fan is going. So the fan's spinning. The orange light is still flashing though. That seems a little bit odd. I'll connect it to a monitor. It's always a good idea to connect an output or a display. Um, we're using 6.3 watts. I'm not getting anything on the display. Uh, the orange light at the front is flashing. I don't know if there's any, um, if there's a buzzer on the board, because if there was, that would be quite useful. Um, we've got some jumpers here. Password. Clear. And we can take the battery out as well, but it's using six watts and I'm not sure what is happening. So let's try taking the power out, reseating the memory. Not entirely sure if that was seated properly to begin with. I guess so. So that's the password. CMC clear one and then RTC reset. So let's do that as well. I mean, it's possible this might not work and, but we can at least give it a try. battery out, put that back in. This battery might be dead, so we could replace that. Okay, so put the power in. What have we got at the front? We've got the orange flashing light again. switching on while the fan is going. The light doesn't seem to be doing much, but we're getting something on the screen. It says RTC is reset. Let me zoom out. It says RTC is reset. BIOS setup default has been loaded. Strike the F1 key to continue F2 to run the setup utility. So I'll plug in a keyboard and let's have a look in the BIOS or setup utility. 
and I'll restart this because it didn't seem to want to respond straight away. Okay, so we've got an Intel Pentium CPU J2900. We've got eight gigabytes of RAM and we've got two SATA slots. Let's have a look what else we've got. Processor, virtualization supported, USB, onboard devices, and secure boot enabled. Okay, that all looks fine. So I'll put in a drive with um, Windows installed on it. I'm going to switch it off before actually connecting this up. And we've got um, this one power cable in here going to two SATA connections. And that's it really. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here in terms of power. Um, there's just two SATA connections. So once we give this power, we should be able to boot. Uh, let's see if I can make it possible so we can see how much power this system is using. Okay, so I'll switch this on. And you should be able to see in the back there how much power is being used. Um, no boot device available. We might need to disable secure boot. So we've disabled that and let's see if we can boot from this drive. I'm going to try a different disk because this doesn't seem to work. Okay, this has got Windows 10 installed on it. In theory, we should be able to boot from it. No, this is odd. Let's check boot internal drive. Let's try legacy just in case. Yep, we're getting the Windows boot. And we're using about nine watts. So this must be a really low power CPU in this system. It's using about 11, 12 watts now. And we're inside Windows. 13 watts showing as being in use. We've got a task manager. We can have a look at this processor. So Intel Pentium CPU J2900, which is a quad core processor. So that's quite nice to see. Base speed 2.41 gigahertz, but it also looks like it can boost. It's now at 2.65 gigahertz. And we've got eight gigabytes of RAM running at 1600. And it's very quiet. I can just about hear this fan. This is such a, this is such a small PC. It kind of seems a shame that it's in such a large uh, case. You know, it's got a tiny little low profile heat sink and fan. And 
yeah it's just a bit um kind of a waste of space really to have such a large case when the motherboard is so small and it looks like you know there might be variations of this with other parts on it i mean i don't know what all this is but it's definitely space for a lot of additional components So what would you do with this system? It's a quad core, which is quite nice, but perhaps a little bit too low power for kind of serious use. But let's take it on the internet and see how it copes. I suppose with two SATA connections, you could put in a large um, storage drive and use it as a file server. Could put a couple of drives in actually um have two drives the tray is set up to hold an optical drive and then a three and a half inch drive there um so not ideal but there is quite a lot of space in the case um let's see how it does on youtube playback and check whether the drivers are installed for the graphics we don't currently have the graphics driver installed, so we're not going to see great performance. So we'll come back in a little bit when they're installed. If you want to um, donate old stuff to this channel, feel free to get in touch. Um, definitely interested in seeing some interesting things or things that are slightly different like this. Um, it kind of makes me think, you know, for people who just want a PC, don't want to upgrade it, why not use sort of laptop components if it makes it cheaper and uses less power? So this is definitely low power, currently using 14 watts. And yeah, I guess this is a system that would probably benefit from slightly faster processor. But, you know, depends what you need or want from a PC and what you're going to be using it for. We've got graphics drivers installed, so let's try YouTube and see what playback is like. Reject all cookies where possible. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. You can also uh, become a member and get extra perks. Yeah, let's get stats for nerds up. So it's running at 720. We're dropping quite a few frames. Um, we are running a lot of Windows updates. Let's see what's happening. Microsoft Edge is using 48%. And then we've got anti-malware service and Windows update running. So those are kind of using the processor as well. And we're at 100% usage and it's at 15 watts at the moment. Let's see what happens if we go up to full HD. And we're getting dropped frames again. But I think when Windows Update finishes, this would actually be okay for YouTube. Um, Let's see how many tabs we can open. It would help if I could type.
seems relatively quick. Relatively smooth. Let's open some more tabs again. Got 10 tabs open and in task manager, it's using four gigabytes of RAM, just over. So it seems quite capable of doing quite a few different things at the same time. And uh, let's have a look at WebGL Aquarium. Okay, so this is pretty slow. Going down to 100, we're getting three frames per second, four frames per second. Um, so that's not great, but it is still running the Windows updates. Yeah, Windows updates is basically still running. So it's not really a true indication of performance, but I think for general light use web browsing, bit of YouTube playback. I think this machine would be fine. Just that I'm going to have to find a power supply for this machine, but it uses laptop power supplies and they're pretty cheap. So what do you think of this system? What would you do with it? It is low power, but practically free. These drives are about six pounds. Um, I wonder if it fits under there. No, wishful thinking. Um, and it's a working system. You know, this would be useful for someone who just needs a computer. Also got a bunch of other things in the queue to test. I'll just show you what those are. We've got a range of laptops. You can um, guess what they are if you want, uh, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to work out what some of those are. And make sure you subscribe for the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.